Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. And today, we're gonna to be looking at a 55 gallon tank that a friend gave me. But in order to set up this 55 gallon tank, I have to do some rearranging in my fish room. So I figure what a great opportunity to set up 240 breeders while adding my 55. Let's go check out how I did. A friend gave me a 55 gallon tank, which now I just have to rearrange some things to make room for, which is not a problem. So, all I did so far is clean it out outside, set it up, and started moving some plants over from my 29 gallon. So I'm tearing down the 29. I took the two angels and Molly out before, and there's two clown witches, and three clown witches in there. Turn that down. I had to move this 20 long onto the floor. I got my, it has my uh, gudgeon gobies and my red, the rose battis. I was gonna put it here, but I have to remove both hospital tanks, which is fine, but this is to get the 55 up there. So I got it cleaned out, set up with some sponge filters. I'm adding the plants from the other tank. I'm also getting plants for uh, Jadron. I'm going to trade some plants for stickers. And then on this wall, there's going to be 240 breeders on top of each other. And I'm not sure, this 29 gallon stand might come over somewhere. I haven't got that far yet. I haven't got that far yet. Working on it. This is kind of sad. I've had this tank a very long time, that's all right. So, I'm going to put almost all of it in here. And make sure I save the filters. I'm using the sponge filters. You know that was crystal clear. I'd rather it be mudded up with uh, beneficial bacteria. And then, I'm going to keep moving. put it in because the way this rack is built it's a perfect fit for this the only way to get it in is before moving forward I have to put this in slide it in between and then finish building it just me getting it in here from the garage there's no way I could pick it up with two hands and level it in so I gotta find some help Whew, So I'm about to do a little bit of a rant. I'm putting together this muscle rack, which I've used before. And these vertical pieces come with a coupling, a very metal coupling that they no longer provide. They're saying it's stable, just putting the two metal pieces on top of each other. How in the world I don't care what grommet you use, it's just resting two pieces like this, sturdy. It's a 400 pound each shelf. I'm not buying it. So I'm, I went on Amazon, 
and I'm getting a coupling piece outside of here, a metal coupling piece that's attached to the two, because I'm building two 40 breeders on top of each other. I'm not buying it. That it, I don't know what happened. I bought these muscle racks before, the Etzel racks, and they're fine, so I don't. My project is on hold, waiting for it to be delivered, so I have to wait a couple days. Ah. There we go, so that's what I got so far. It's seated. Got a couple big swords in there. Got some Anubis in there. And some more Anubis here. And I've got some Java fern. It's a start, right? I think I like it so far. Thanks for checking out part one of my 55 gallon tank. Stay tuned while I set up my two 40 gallon breeders.